that not my name? Welcome to the end of the video, everyone. I am Bizarro, and I am going to do a new video today on speed. And I don't mean that I'll be on speed while I'm doing the video. I mean, the video is on the topic of speed. Uh, and to clarify, I am not doing speed as a synergy, but really just the concept of speed in the game and what it means for the game and how knowing speed can improve um, how you play the game. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to remind you, if there are any topics that you want me to cover that I haven't covered, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section and I will do my best to cover a topic. Um, and if there's something that I've done that you'd like me to update, uh, let me know that too and I will try to do that. Anyway, without further ado, let me get into the concept of speed. So uh, speed is a really important uh, stat to know of all the characters in the game. And let me show you why. If we go in here to our character speed, um, you go into the bar graph here and you scroll down here to where it says speed. And you can see that Firestorm speed is 83 plus 30 with a boost from gear for a total speed of 113. And what you can see is speed is the frequency a, a hero takes turns in the game. So the higher the speed, the more often they will take turns and the lower the speed, the less often they will take turns. So why is speed important? Well, first uh, is that speed determines which character will go first in a given match. Uh, whichever character has the highest speed is the character that's gonna go first. And knowing who's going to go first is really key because, because if um, I'm playing a team and I have a character, say, in the game to take care of another character, well, I want to know that that character isn't going to die before they get a chance to take out the character I put them in to deal with. So let me show you an example in the PvP arena just... Uh, so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So um, I'll have to purchase a bit of, there we go. There was a little bit of a lag there. I have to purchase some arena energy. So I'll go in and I'll uh, look at this team here. So if I were putting in a character to say deal with Arcus Chumic, I wanna make sure that my character would go first and um, might not get annihilated uh, by another character. Or maybe a better example would be, let's say I wanna take out St. Walker first on this team, so I'm gonna need a red character. Well, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that the red character I put in is faster than Arcus Chumic, faster than Parallax, and faster than Sinestro. Otherwise, they might die before they get a chance to even take out St. Walker. So, um, so not only does speed determine uh, which character goes first in a given match, but it ends up determining the order all characters take a turn unless there is some manipulation of turn meter by other characters in the game, which I'll get into in a second. So the point in looking at that match is to say that um, knowing a character's speed is a key component to de defeating your opponents. And in fact, one of the things that you're going to want to know is what is the speed of your opponent uh, and, and what is the speed of their characters. So there's a way you can do that. If I tap on the person that I want to fight, I'm not going to tap on where it says battle. Uh, I'm just tapping over on the name or any uh, over by the name. And if I tap view, I can go in and I can see their characters and then I can even go in and tap on their character and look at their character's speed. So I can see that Arcus Chumic's speed is 106 total when uh, gear is included. Um, so I want to make sure that whatever red I put in is going to be faster than that so they don't get annihilated uh, by Arcus Chumic before I have a chance to use them. Okay, so... Um, 
if speed is so important, the next question would be, how do I increase my character's speed? And this is, um, this is where speed connects back to the idea of gear, because unlike leveling and ranking characters, um, well, let me rephrase that. I should say, unlike other character stats, um, speed does not increase through ranking or leveling your character. So let me go to a low level character here in my lineup and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so I'll look at uh, poor Stripe here, who's way back in the back of my lineup. And I'm gonna take him up to level 21. And when I rank him up, so I'm about to hit apply and you'll see that it's gonna show all of how my stats changed. But what you'll notice is even though strength, agility, stamina, intelligence, and my hit points went up, my speed did not go up. And that's because uh, leveling up a character does not increase their speed. Uh, the only thing that can increase a character's speed is their gear. So even if I were to rank him up, um, I would not see an increase of speed. Um, and I would imagine part of the reason that the game does this is because if you base speed on gear, level, and rank, there'd be so many gradations of speed that it would be hard, really hard to keep up with your opponent's speed all the time. So if we look at um, Stripe's gear, what we can see is, so for when I'm looking at the RC wristwatch, you can see if I were to upgrade this, then I get a speed boost of plus three. And once you upgrade all their gear to gear 11, that determines the overall rating of the character's speed and will also determine how, um, how the order of all characters' speed goes in the game. So um, before I get into the fastest and slowest characters in the game, um, one of the things I wanted to mention is that some characters can, can augment their speed by gaining turn meter. Uh, so one example of this uh, that comes to mind, if I go to the front of my lineup here, um, if I go to Black Adam, so Black Adam, just like everybody else, is going to have a speed value, and Black Adam's speed is at 108, which is almost dead in the middle of the pack, meaning that he is um, right at the average, um, or, or I should say the middle value of all speeds in the game. Um, but Black Adam can speed himself up because what you see is that some of his abilities gain turn meter. So it might appear that Black Adam is faster than he is because a lot of Black Adam's um, abilities ability to gain turn meter is based on enemy death. So if I had a character say that, that on my team that went first and killed an opponent's character, my Black Adam would go before the other team's Black Adam, even if we were similar gear, or sorry, same gear and um, same character level and everything because um, because my Black Adam has benefited from my teammates uh, killing one of the enemy characters. So just to be clear, even though we are the same um, speed because we're geared up the same, I would go first if that enemy death happens first. So sometimes this can confuse people because it seems like a character is faster, but they're really not. They're just gaining turn meter. Um, the other thing that's worth mentioning here are speed ups because some characters, like if we go here and look at Flash, who I've not uh, leveled my Flash's superpowers. If we go in here, uh, you can see that my Flash on his basic can gain one speed up. Um, and a speed up gives you about a uh, 10% increase on your character's speed. 
And given that the base value of a character speed is different from character to character, a speed up doesn't always give the same amount of speed to each character because it's based on a percentage and not a set value. So in other words, if my base speed, for example, is, um, well, actually we could look. If we look at Flash's speed, and Flash is one of the fastest characters in the game, with gear, you can see his speed is going to be 131. So 10% of that is giving me 13.1% uh, speed boost. Thir oh, scratch that, start over. It is giving me a 13.1 uh, value speed boost. Uh, whereas if we look at somebody like uh, Solomon Grundy, we can see that Grundy's speed is only a meager 72. So a 10% boost from one speed up only gives him a 7.2 uh, value added to his speed score. So it's not the same as Flash. So Flash is benefiting more from speed than Grundy would. All right, so um, Again, to relate this back to gear, this is why gear is so important, because if you're not leveling your gear, you are never going to get a faster character. So one, one of the things that you should also know is you should have an idea of who the fastest characters are in the game. Um, and in fact, I will go ahead and talk about who the fastest characters are for each affinity. So if you look at uh, energy characters, the fastest energy character, and in fact, the fastest character in the game overall with a speed rating of 133 is Wally West. Then if uh, the next one after that is Reverse Flash with a speed rating of 132, and then Barry Allen with a speed rating of 131. Uh, if we look at mystic characters, the fastest mystic character in the game. So this is where it goes back to strategy and you're thinking, okay, who's the fastest mystic I can use in the game to counter my opponent? The fastest mystic character is Aquaman, King of Atlantis, and Cheetah, both with ratings of 123. And then just below them, you have Etrigan at 122. And I believe there's somebody tied with Etrigan as well at 122, but my recollection is they're not as widely used as a, of a character as Etrigan. And then for physical characters, your fastest characters are Jay Garrick at a speed rating of 130, Arsenal at a speed rating of 129, and Robin at 128. So one of the things that I'll do is in the video, I will show the speed chart that I made because it includes speed, uh, all ratings of speed, and then um, speed by affinity. And one of the things that was really interesting is you would think with all of the speedster characters that are energy based that that energy would be the fastest uh, overall affinity. But when you take the average speed of each member of each affinity, Actually, the fastest affinity is uh, physical uh, with an average speed of 111.26. Uh, so I was quite, by surprise, quite surprised by that. And then um, I also wanted to mention who the slowest characters were in each affinity. Uh, so for energy, your slowest character is Chemo. For mystic characters, your slowest character is Grundy. And for physical characters, your slowest character is Stripe. So the point is to say that knowing speed and knowing the speeds of your opponent is really important because it plays a key role in uh, whether or not you might win a particular match. So um, it's a good idea to start, um, Not you don't have to memorize the whole list, but it's a good idea to start to memorize uh, which characters are faster and which ones are slower. Um, and I will try to post a link to the speed chart that I made uh, so that you have it and you can use it as a reference guide. I believe there's also a speed guide floating around in the community center. Um, okay, so I, I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how important speed is and why it's 
uh, so important to know in the game. And also the idea that speed can only be, a character's speed rating can only be increased through gear. So as I said, uh, I wanted this to be a short video. So I'm looking at 15, just over 15 minutes right now. So I will call this the beginning of the video and I hope you learned something. Please leave a like if you liked it. Um, again, leave a comment if there's something that I missed or if you have a topic you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section. No thanks for watching. Until next time. Congratulations. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, there is some bonus information for you. It's often wondered what happens when you have two characters of the same speed. So how does that work? Let's say I have two characters of the same speed on my team. Who goes first? Well, the way you can determine who goes first is by who is in which slot. So you have the leader slot, and then when you add somebody to the second slot, uh, that second slot determines who goes first between two characters of the same speed. So let's say I used a team of Deadshot Hired Gun, um, Castaway Green Arrow, and Red Robin. Well, Castaway Green Arrow and Red Robin are the same speed, so whoever I put in that second slot is going to go first. Uh, the other thing that happens is if you have two characters of the same speed on opposite teams, your character gets to go first. So I hope you enjoyed this bonus information for making it all the way to the end of the video. Goodbye.